may have gotten away with this crime. I can bet that they thought they had already gotten away with it. Well, they were wrong. Now at 5.30, the state attorney busting a man and woman accused of ripping off a 97-year-old, taking her for hundreds of thousands of dollars. Good evening, I'm Lauren Pastrana. And I'm Ted Scouten. It all began with one of the suspects being hired as a home health aide who was supposed to be taking care of the victim. Elder exploitation. These words always have a very, very ugly feel to them. Miami-Dade State Attorney Catherine Fernandez Rundle announcing two arrest warrants, one for Natsky Nelson, the other for Jose Pierre Toussaint. They're accused of scamming a 97-year-old woman out of more than $200,000. These two individuals may have gotten away with this crime. I can bet that they thought they had already gotten away with it. Well, they were wrong. The state attorney said Nelson used the victim's debit card to pull money from her account, transferring it to Pierre Toussaint. And what makes this crime even more glaring is that the victim's deteriorating health made it impossible, it was impossible for her to agree or to consent to any of these transactions or expenditures. Nelson is already in custody. Pierre Toussaint is still out there. The warrants come after an investigation from the EVA Task Force, which stands for Elder and Vulnerable Adult Unit. Miami-Dade Mayor Danielle Levine Cava said, we all have to watch out for the elderly. We have a growing elder population. We have Unfortunately, people who are always looking for opportunities to exploit, and this is their sitting ducks. They're really, unfortunately, very easy targets. And that investigation began after the victim's son noticed financial irregularities. The victim passed away in February of 2021. If you suspect an elderly person is being scammed, call the Elder and Vulnerable Adult Exploitation Task Force, that number 786-804-6723.